Hey, how's it going friends? This is Matt from the Nampa Hiker channel and I'm just sitting in my kitchen and uh, it's almost midnight and I'm not tired. So I was thinking about uh, doing something about maybe lulling myself to sleep. So what do I do when I can't sleep? Well, <laughs> one of the things I do is I make YouTube videos. So a lot of times when you see me making a YouTube video in the garage, it's because I'm having a hard time sleeping. One of the things that I have noticed is when I'm out backpacking or when I'm camping somewhere, I especially have a hard time going to sleep. And I thought to myself, why is that? And I came up with primarily three reasons. The first reason is no matter how good your sleeping pad is, it's just not the same as sleeping in your own bed. So, I mean, you could have the best sleeping pad out there, but it's not gonna hold a candle next to your own bed that you sleep in every day and that you find comfortable. So that's the first reason. The second reason why you might have a hard time going to sleep while backpacking or camping is, well, if you're married, you're not with your spouse unless your spouse is with you. But a lot of times, us guys, if, and I'm assuming most of my audience, actually 85% of my audience is, is guys, most of the time we're out backpacking, um, well, we're not with our spouses. And, you know, I don't know about you, but when I'm away from my wife, I definitely know it. My thoughts are, are with her. I'm, I'm worried about her. How is she doing? How are the kids? You know, often I don't have a cell signal. So these things could even subconsciously be weighing on your mind, kind of be in the background, you know, background noise going on, if you will. And the third thing is, well, when you're out camping or backpacking, you're out in the woods or you're out in the desert and naturally you have a heightened sense of alertness. You know what's going on around you. When you're, you're, when you're in your tent, you hear things and your mind is making, processing all this information. Is that the wind? Do I have an intruder in my campground? Is that a bear is you know all these things are going on so you have this heightened sense of alertness going on at all times all these factors together for me causes me not to be able to sleep a lot of times um, sometimes when I'm out camping I seriously get three or four hours of sleep and that's it and there's nothing worse than waking up and not feeling refreshed especially when you have a long day of backpacking ahead of you to get back to the trailhead and get into your car and go home. So a couple of things that I do when I can't sleep, well, one of the things that I do is I take a product called melatonin. And let me get this in the camera here. Now, melatonin is a natural supplement that our body produces naturally and uh, it's a hormone that's produced in the brain and basically it doesn't put you to sleep and keep you asleep like say a, a drug would it just helps to actually get you asleep so if you if you take a melatonin tablet and this one tastes exactly like a you know a breath mint um, if you take a melatonin it'll help get you to sleep but if something is going on around you um, it's not going to inhibit your alertness. You're still going to be able to, to wake up and deal with it. So melatonin is a product that I use now and then and it helps me get to sleep. I chew a couple of these tablets and seriously I'm asleep within you know 10 minutes. Um, so that's one thing. Another thing is something I actually read about today. Um, my dad loaned me a magazine. Um, I can't remember what it was called. It's basically one of these self-defense type prepper magazines and I was flipping through it and one of the suggestions for a survival light I thought would be perfect for bringing into the, the camping world and that is using our headlamps which we have and turning it into a soft white lantern because you know these headlamps could be awfully bright and awfully bright lights have a way of affecting our minds in such a way that it's hard to sleep but if you were to take this and you were to put it behind a water bottle what happens is it refracts the light and it gives you a soft white glow 
throughout your tent or throughout your campsite. If you don't have a fire going, this might be a way to have a soft light that you could just relax to and that you could calm down to and it'll help you get drowsy so you can go to sleep. So I thought that was a pretty clever idea. I'm going to demonstrate this. I'm going to turn on the headlamp and I'm going to shut off the light. So give me a second here. Let me turn this on. Put it up to the highest setting and let me go turn off the light. So that looks kind of bright from the video. Let me pick the camera up and get back and you can see what I mean. It just turns your water bottle into a really soft, gentle light source. And I thought between the melatonin and just uh, you know, ditching the, the heavy lantern perhaps, if you're car camping and doing something silly like putting your headlamp behind a, a water bottle, I'm hoping that these two things together will help me to go to sleep because I gotta tell you I love backpacking and I love camping but I hate waking up in the morning and feeling tired when I have a day of adventure ahead of me so anyway tell me what you think tell me if you think these are good ideas bad ideas what you do when you're camping and you can't go to sleep and uh, subscribe to my channel and let's start a dialogue on this um, anyway, I appreciate you watching. God bless and happy trails.